be. Right, give me two minutes. I'm streaming. Okay, we're live, but I got I got a nice little picture, at least on the screen. So, hi everybody. Howdy, folks. Hello. Hello. Hey. Oh, I gotta get my jazz loon going. And what are we talking about this week? You know what I noticed maybe last week is that our icons in the um, Twitch stream are cut off, so you can't see me anymore. That's awesome. I'm I great at this. I feel like I'm being uh, slowly well, cast out. Usually, Sun Sand's there. Ah, so true. Sun Sand comes to our rescue. And there, there's Sun Sand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have to push Sun Sand. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the podcast. Um, <laughs> as we work out technical difficulties within the first minute. Um, not a new record. That absolutely is not. How's everyone doing tonight? I'm doing all right. Swell as can be. I'm really Pretty fucking good. High. Wait, Fico, you're you're high. Yeah, I got a little rowdy in the pre-show. Oh my god. Our Pico. I can't believe this. Hi once again on the podcast. It makes it better that way. I know. Because <laughs> then I accidentally say really stupid shit that I'm not supposed to. Classic, classic Pico. Classic. I just got back from the movie theater. What'd you see? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I saw a bell. It was good. Things. Yeah. Yeah, it was really good. I'm in touch with what's uh, what's playing right now. Is that a, oh, that is what is that? It is a anime film by the studio that made uh, Summer Wars, Wolf Children. Oh hell yeah! I love Summer Wars. Oh, Ludwig Forsell did the some of the music for it too. It looks like the guy who did uh, PT and uh, Death Stranding. Wait, really? I didn't even know that. <laughs> like, I mean, that that's, that's, what, that's what Google says. I, I don't know, man. I'll believe you. I just learned about this. So, yeah, apparently he's a second credit for uh, music. Oh, wow. The music was really good in it and a big part of it. So, oh, There you go. It's yeah, like a while cool since I've seen a movie in a theater. I live next to a, I, I, I like to be a little bit of a movie nerd, and uh, I live next to a theater. It's only like a Regal Cinema, so we only get like the big budget shit that yeah. I really care much about. I, I, I just saw Belle at Regal, so. Oh. So you I, can go <laughs> see this. <laughs> some, some, something tells me that will not be showing in this little, little town I live in, but I, I will be on the lookout for it. You guys see the new Spider-Man? I want to. I, I did, yeah. Feel inundated by all the superhero movies. Not to be that guy. I mean, but there's just there's I, just so many. I don't, I'm just like, damn. I I, I, I agree hardcore. I and I haven't watched anything I since I think since Endgame. But I feel but like this Spider is the Man. one to see. Yeah. yeah. Which one is it? Homecoming? Is that what it is? No from, way home or no way home. No way home. No way home. Fuck. I don't know. Man. Is homecoming the game? Is that something? Isn't it? <laughs> the Homecoming's the homes. first one. Oh god. What's is homecoming a homes? game album? I love the game. Yeah. What's the fourth <laughs> Spider-Man home uh, title gonna be? Uh, it's Homebody. apparently gonna be like a, a new uh, trilogy or of. I guess. Or I can't like do that. this again. Uncle Ben Better. cannot do this again. Or no, it's still gonna be like. Oh, okay. The right. Same actors. Yeah, but... me too. <laughs> Spider Spider Man homeowner. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So. And... What? We lose lose the man. What, what the fuck this? am I doing in this game? I don't game? know. Yeah, well, I was about to ask what this game is, actually. This is, is this... ActRaiser. It's like... Oh, this is ActRaiser. I've never seen this game before. 
Or I did, I saw a screenshot, and it's not what I expected it to be. It's and like a platformer that... slash like a farmer. I forgot how to play this game. Is it like a bullet hell sometimes, or did I just like... No, uh, yeah, it's a half god simulator, which is this part, and then half like action side-scrolling. Which is a great way to segue our way into what we're talking about tonight. We, we are oh. talking about releases that have been given at least two presses and the differences between them and I guess takes on them and what have you. And yeah, uh, I think... we got Act Razor up on the screen right now and so I've put up the Act Razor doubles. I, I don't know a damn thing about Act Razor, so <laughs> Well the music is by uh Izo Kashiro. And it's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's got some banging tunes. Um, yeah, the I want to say the official release came, what, maybe six months or so after the unofficial? That sounds right. And it's okay. the the official ones by Wayo Records. Uh, and it's also a double LP. Um, one record is the Super Nintendo soundtrack and the other record is the symphonic suite orchestral arrangement thingy. That was a neat way. Was it that they they remade that game recently? Is, is it the music from that? No. Oh, okay. uh, I think now I, actually I'm not 100% sure about this but I think the orchestral suite was a older recording. I don't okay. think it was made for this. I don't think I could be wrong about that. Okay. Not sure. It just looks like it was done in 2018, and then the release was uh, early last year. Okay. Um, but yeah, I uh, I actually only own the boot bootleg okay. for this one. Uh, but I hear the the people say the sound quality on the official one is not great. Oh. Yeah, that's I heard the same thing. Duck bits in the chat saying the symphonic this had a lot of issues. Huh. That's kind is of it, sad. <laughs> is it the same thing with like the Mega Man X one? I'm sure we'll get into is it, is it a hardware source for the Act Razor boot? That's a good question. Uh, well, I, I know the it's I, it's definitely hardware source for the boot. I have no idea about the official though. Does anybody uh, know what to do in this game? <laughs> Someone help Pico and Sir <laughs> Ass. How are uh, <laughs> not not to get not to get too out of pocket here, but what's the general consensus on Wayo releases? I don't know if I have any of them. I think they're neat, but it's just sometimes uh, harder to afford that import, at least for me. R right. I, I had like weird instances with Wayo where didn't accept my payments but I, I i i have their metal slug 3 and and i like that a decent amount i've been perpetually on the fence about getting skies of arcadia that's a way oh, of that release, one right? too uh, I, don't, yeah. I haven't almost bought that like a lot of times and did those uh did the metal slug x's ever start landing that was the most recent metal slug they did right i believe so we lost frank at some point um, Frank. Frank. So that's what I know about Wayo. They they did what was that? Nuts? Miss Mr. Nuts. Mr. Nuts. I know nothing about Mr. Nuts except how hard it got memed. Yeah. <laughs> Frank's Hello? back. I you brought are you back. Here. We hear ya. My laptop froze, so I'm on my phone right now. I'm awesome. gonna try to get back <laughs> on my laptop, so sorry. That's no, you're good. good. Uh that's really all I know about Act Razor. Is there anything else to really touch on? Like I don't know if it's I don't I think I might have froze before I uh said this, but I I said I don't like the art on the official one. Okay. Kind of an epic I think it looks, looking. It looks kind of tacky and like too modern, I guess, for a I game can, that's from the early 90s. 
can feel that. I can see where the art's at. Art's cool, but if maybe the style was a little bit different, like just maybe a tiny bit, that it'd be a little more refined. But I think the the simple box art uh, does a pretty good job. Yeah. In Sometimes I, that's what you need. I'm looking at the Super Famicom art for Act Razor, and I love it. There is this green-haired lion with just sharp teeth. It's amazing. That should have been on the box art or the, the jacket art for the Act Razor so game. The, uh, the test pressing uses that art. Oh. Don't mind me. But constantly. yeah, the was the regular one. Yeah, well, I don't have to have to find at some point. I've not heard it, nor do I know much about the game, obviously. But yeah, yeah. I wish we could help you, Pico. Is there anyone in voice chat in the waiting room that knows how to play this game pretty well? Yeah, and any act raiser guide act raiser nuts. Pico through it. Any act raisers in the chat? Raise up, because we need you now. Most of all, Pico needs you now. It was just weird as fuck. <laughs> what will Sir Ass do? <laughs> Don't you have to move your palace to a piece of new land and then fight monsters? That may be it. Yeah, it won't let me fight though because it says I'm at level zero. We got a link to a game fact. Oh my FAQ. gosh. <laughs> we, we need you to join one. the live discussion. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't gonna read game facts on the air. <laughs> We're gonna. This podcast is dedicated to Pico getting through Act Razor. Become an Act Razor Let's Play, hundred uh, percent walkthrough. From knowing nothing to mastering the game. What else? What else are we looking at uh, today here? Not a no. damn thing. That's a shame. There's so many records we could consider. <laughs> I'm just Josh. Yeah, I, I'll just go through this in, I guess, alphabetical order. I got Cuphead. Cuphead has two, two releases. Was so I mean for this one, like one is obviously much better. Well, than one the is other. obviously much better. <laughs> but some, I think that's gonna be the case with most of these. Yeah. Honestly, I mean, though some people aren't aren't fans of box sets and just want some simple selections. We've seen it before. I'm oh. not familiar with the selections <laughs> on the double. Are, is, are it's, it's, it's enjoyable. It's enjoyable. Uh, there's a lot of good songs up there. I, I, I can't. I'm not familiar enough with Cuphead tunes to name songs by uh, by their title, but I definitely enjoyed listening to the two LP. Is the default by I am a bit correct. Yes. Correct. Yeah. I'll be honest, I forgot about Banjo. <laughs> yeah, I th yeah, then again, we put all of this together in like 20 minutes. We are very Banjo and, and Cuphead are like the same situation, really. Yeah. So let me get this image up so we can say, yeah, basically the same thing. It was in reverse, wasn't it? Where it was the selected tracks first and then the box set yeah. second. Yeah. I know yeah. there, there's Undertale people, did that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's some people who figured out the issue. The, uh... <laughs> Sorry to bombard in you. <laughs> How could you guys? How could you do I this started, to our podcast? I did continue. I did continue. <laughs> and it doesn't let you play the game if you do continue. You have to do new game. How oh. fucking stupid is that? It like I guess it probably lets you look over what you did. I was just a button masher, so it's not like I was even looking. New game plus. All right, now it's time for some act razor shit. We are professional yeah. act razors. So I guess. Oh my god, I think I'm fucking doing something. That's Cuphead. Well, for Cuphead, I, I would since there's not much to say uh, uh, music-wise in comparing them because obviously yeah. one's a complete soundtrack and one's selections. And what it's about the same like company? And, yeah. What about the artwork? Like. Do you like the artwork on the four LP more or the I mean it's hard the to other beat one? how like well presented and put together that art is. 
Like yeah, they they committed to the uh, the whole Cuphead and thing. And it is like with the RLP. It's the key art, but the key art is already so good. I mean, most Cuphead art is good. It's, mm -hmm. it, it's hard to to beat. One thing, like I think the four LP did this too. I might be mistaken, but I know the two LP, like in the name of retro, like in the name of like old phonograph records, they gave them kind of shitty inner inner sleeves, yeah. and um, I immediately I replaced them. Okay, I don't, I think there there are no inner sleeves on the four disc one. It's yeah, just it's like, the, yeah, it's, it's a great sleeves. Yeah. That's right. Well, let's move on to banjo. Burn you, fuck, crazy piece of shit. And I actually see Tony in the chat. I was gonna bring him in real quick because he he had a little work on one of these. Hey, Tony, you there? Hello? Hey. Can you hear me? We can hear Hello? you. Oh no. Uh oh. I, I got the echo. <laughs> we got that echo. So. We're talking about the two banjo releases. Talking about. And the echo. <laughs> No, we're not no, gonna... no, no. We'll get to Echo later. <laughs> oh, you got jokes. Um, what the uh, fuck? <laughs> seeing Pico try to figure out Act Razor in the meantime is is a fun thing too. Imagine losing. Imagine losing to a tree. Could be me. He's doing pretty good right now. Yeah. Do we uh, got the echo sorted out and tell me? I think in? so. Sounds like it. Hello? Hello. How's it going, Tony? Hey, it's going pretty good. Awesome. So, How are you guys doing? I'd say decent enough. We're, we're figuring out so how what? to do a podcast still. Yeah, how, why does it <laughs> echo? Is it is that on my end? or is that, it, does it have Yeah. On? I think it oh, like picked I, up your sound and like usually yeah, people... Just you just gotta mute the uh, the stream, and that settles that. But then, how, but then, how do you hear what's happening? Uh, you know. I ended up putting on my headphones. That's how I'm hearing you guys. I see. So, what, well, what are you guys talking about? We're talking about banjo and like the the differences Talk between the love. two the two releases. Oh yeah, and like. Uh, Since you had at least a bit of involvement with one of those, I figured it would be nice to have you in our voice chat with it. Right. Yeah. Well, I think uh, I think they're both great. Um, yeah. I just love taking stuff and just putting a different spin. And I thought the original. Mm -hmm. I, I remember when they showed it to me, and I was like, it just threw me for a loop. Yeah. I was like, like someone's gonna buy this. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's a, it's not exactly what you would think of with, with the banjo kazooie name. But but when you when you look at it, you know I think it's cool because it's yeah. like oh yeah there you go you you have every element concerning that uh, game, and you know there you go. I mean I, I really like it. You know after I like you know I was like studying it. I'm like yeah you know makes sense. But then yeah the the newer one that came out. Oh man, I, I just love that whole style. I mean, I mean, if you've seen like the um, that Kirby that I worked on, I mean, mm -hmm. that's just like right up my alley. I yeah, just, I love all that old, just uh, golden book art style and very simple shapes and you know, cartoony. I, I love all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I hate to be that guy where it's like, oh, I love it all, but you know, everything has a certain merit to it if right. it's done if it's done correctly. And no, I, they really did it with the banjo kazooie kind of art style and making them both work. Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, and both art yeah. styles are very different than what right. the game art style is. That's yeah, true which too. I, which I think they had to do because I mean, you just had to go in a different direction. I, I just thought that the uh, it's just a really nice package that that second one. I mean, it's more music um, for sure. 
I have a thing about box sets. I have a few, and I feel like I don't pull them out enough because it's just a pain. Mm-hmm. You know, first world problems. I know that but, extra uh, step of the box. Right. <laughs> right. Now, yeah. I, there's one criticism for that box set that I always hear. What is and that? It's that is? Too much Gruntilda's Lair. Really? <laughs> huh. Oh, the, so- the song. Yeah, because I think it has every variation of it, and it's so, so it pops uh, up on almost every much. side. Yeah, I think right. it's on um, like right. almost almost every side of every disc. Oh my god! Well, and well it's man, like... did anyone did anyone pick up the uh, that Celeste box set? Bo- yeah, box sex box set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that, that, that actually sex. that fits in with the theme as well. Of, yeah, uh, yeah re-releases yeah. but man i love oh my god that music was so, i mean the game the music oh, oh yeah it, it, i could talk it, about celeste for a whole podcast probably so. oh we should do that we should do that man <laughs> we it's should great. i mean there's so much i i never beat it i well i beat it but i didn't play the extra strawberry levels whatever yeah. they are oh my lord i was like how in the hell do you even do that patience and dying a lot <laughs> Lot, but you know what's lot. funny about that game? I know the it, feeling. <laughs> that game is so it's so old school where it's like you just would keep it it would keep me coming back even though I must have died on some parts like a yeah. hundred times. Straight. I keep playing. I just okay, well, go again, go again. So yeah. Well the, sure. the respawn rate was like half a second, so that's yeah, what made it fast. so much exactly. easier. Had that, right. had that same that Meat Boy style where it's just yeah. like back in, back in the shit right away. So you guys were talking about talking albums about... that that should be remade or I no, no, no. We're talking a little bit about both. We 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 are going through just a couple of the ones that we have seen. So I mean, if there's any that you can think of that we haven't touched on, I'm open to talk about them. <sighs> I think a lot of them just have to do with just art because i think yeah most of the albums have been really good um it's just that some of them i, th- I think a lot of the times it's just it's just the execution you know yeah. I, I think sometimes the art uh the, the idea the concept is really cool you know i'm gonna interrupt then, you real quick because that right. that's an interesting concept because my next one was going to be donkey kong country and like there's i think at least three different kind of takes on that right um you got the moon shake. Yeah, you, right. you got the the like redrawn Donkey Kong Country cover, and then you got the simple uh, Jam and Sam Miller uh, banana. Right. And well, and maybe. that's a lot of different both sound and art is a big part right. of these releases. Yeah. Oh man, you know what? I think I have to go to dinner. <laughs> All right. But I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you my quick take. The yeah. jet, ja- the jammin, the jammin Sam Miller. Oh man, incredible sounding, weak cover. It's just, you, it could have just been something way more, mm-hmm. especially for the the amount of effort put in to make that music sound the way it does. I mean, it's like listening to a whole new Donkey Kong soundtrack. It, mm-hmm. It's incredible. And yeah. to have a cover, have a cover like that, you know. Again, it's not like I'm asking someone to say, "Hey, Tony, why don't you do a cover?" It's like, no. It's like, I just think the effort for any any album, if if you're gonna if you're gonna put the effort into making this thing, make it a complete package. Yeah. You know, make, make it make it freaking awesome. And that's for me. That's always been the case of like when I'm working on one of these things. It's like, I, I want something that I want. Yeah. If someone el- if someone else thinks it's cool that's that's bonus you know for sure so it that's the thing for me it's like when i get these like i want it in my collection i want it to be awesome and that's why i'm like i just i labor over these things because if i don't do it I, i'm afraid someone else is going to do it and just totally drop the ball yeah so yeah, i get what you mean uh, there yeah so i'm gonna cut out and see if i can okay. come back but um but yeah all right uh I wish I could talk more about yeah. it because, yeah, I could talk all day about this. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> well, well, thanks for dropping by, Tony. Appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, thanks. Larry. Yeah, the, I uh, wonder the, I was gonna say, the... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say the DKC is interesting because, you know, the Moonshake was a, was a tribute sort of parody cover. And then mm-hmm. 
you know, they had Sam Miller. I guess you could consider it like Andy Warhol. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, you know, play on play on image there, but the, it, the, I don't know. It's just so unrobust. You would hope that even if they were gonna do like a satire thing, they would kind of like stand up at least to the first one. You know. To to the powers that know more than me, are, can we say how you would refer to the middle one? The boot. Or- Night tremors. Yeah. yeah. If Frank saying night tremors i think we're okay (laughs) (laughs) i never viewed the the jam and sam miller as an andy warhol tribute i just always like it was so pixely i just thought it Mm -hmm. was trying to evade copyright concerns (laughs) exactly that's exactly what i was gonna say you know i i didn't i didn't think about it like that but i I do i do get like yeah kind of censoring what it is is pretty well Velvet Underground-y, though. I mean, it's a different shape and doesn't have the same, like, uh, pattern on the banana, but for me, it's hard not to, like, view it like that. Mm -hmm. So, so as far as the music on these, Mm -hmm. um, you got the Jam and Sam Miller one is two LPs, so it's obviously the longest. Um, It is missing some of the short jingle tracks which i'm sure sure isn't that big of a deal to a lot of people but like the for instance like the rare opening logo and like the like when you the victory jingle and like the bonus little jingle stuff like that is missing but everything else is there and it it all sounds great of course Mm -hmm. um and then you have the other two which i actually could never decide which one (laughs) <laughs> is is better or worse because they, I think they both have issues uh, I think the sequencing on Moonshake is very odd I think yeah. side A a lot of the songs are longer uh, especially uh, Aquatic Ambience I think Sean even specifically said like he wanted to make that album for that song so that okay. song gets to, be, gets to be extra long but then you have side B which is like I feel like way too much stuff is squeezed onto side B because you have the the rest of DKC. A lot of the songs are incomplete. Actually, they fade out before even one playthrough, which I don't like that, especially like there's songs like Fear Factory and like stuff like that that don't even play one time, unfortunately. And then you have the um, the Donkey Kong NES uh, soundtracks, which are, in my opinion, kind of obnoxious. I didn't know um, that was on there. <laughs> yeah, so you have like I think Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr. are both on there. Oh. Uh, <laughs> soundtracks in quotes because it's basically right. just sound effects, sound effects, and but they're a lot louder than the rest of the album, and oh, they're okay. a little bit obnoxious. And I kind of just wish the DKC tracks were a little more fleshed out yeah, instead. instead of that. I get you. Uh, uh, does anyone have any about the sound on sim miller like I, I don't know i heard some people say they felt like it was over it just sounded like overproduced or something or just too, oh, too clean. i never got I my mean, copy of that one um for whatever reason so I haven't, I haven't really had a chance to listen i think if you're a purist there it, it's definitely going to sound different and there are some liberties taken despite the fact that you know it's meant to be quote-unquote uncompressed Mm-hmm. Um, uh, he does take some liberties as far as like making the song sound more like a, a studio mix. Um, but I really, I, I really enjoy it. Uh, I enjoy his work, especially with the Donkey Kong music. Real, real quick, Pico, what's going on with your, uh, your setup? He gave up. Pico fall asleep. <laughs> Pico technical difficulties. Uh, I get. I guess the the night tremors one yeah. is kind of just also has kind of weird sequencing. It's not as weird as the moonshake one, but I feel like it it doesn't sound great. And there's also a lot of songs that like kind of cut out too quick. Yeah. So um, this might be a strange question, but we're gonna come to Metroid a little later. But Metroid and Donkey Kong Country from Moonshake both dropped on the same, like they were both for sale on the same day. And 
it's like like in some ways i kind of wish they did the reverse where like he only did a one lp for super metroid and did a two lp for donkey kong country i don't know if anyone so the the super metroid was was (laughs) original oh my god (laughs) have you been talking (laughs) <laughs> um yeah i was trying to explain how i was switching controllers and then like my whole emulator went wonky okay we didn't get any of it mm. beautiful <laughs> we are the we best believe you, though we are the best video game vinyl podcast on the net on the world <laughs> yeah, wide my web o- my other controller was just having input lag and i couldn't do anything it was irritating me <laughs> well we're fixing it now maybe but Alex, you were saying that you you had hoped that uh, Metroid had been a one LP and Donkey Kong be a two LP if it had to be one way or the other. With those, well, big- well, Su- Super Metroid only has two tracks that bleed into side C on the the, the Metroid trilogy, and, I, I, um, and and yeah, there are some lacking tracks in Donkey Kong Country. So it's like I I, I could imagine maybe he had a decision of, of which one to make a two LP, and I think he maybe did the wrong one. The so Super <laughs> Metroid was originally one LP. The um the test presses that you may have seen floating out there, the red ones. You know which ones I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, I've seen for, them for, for, for uh, Metroid, right? So, they got they got the Metroid in positive space, or and then like an outline of Samus in negative space. Yeah, so that uh, record is actually the full soundtrack on one LP. Because originally that's what it was, but he didn't like the way those sounded. And so he decided to expand it to not only two LPs, but also include the first two games in there to make it the trilogy. That makes sense. I did not know that. Yeah, me neither. Uh, I don't know if there are test presses other than those, uh, you know, the ones I had just mentioned, I don't know if he got test presses made for the newer version. Because uh, if if he has, he's never sold them or shown them. Yeah. Have you ever seen a test press for Donkey Kong Country? Because I never have. I never have either. No. Oh wow. I don't believe I've seen one pop up. He didn't. I don't feel like I remember him advertising them much back when he was first selling them. But maybe it's just I was just frequenting vinyl collective only and i don't think he posted there a lot after a while yeah i i think those that drop of those two uh brought in a lot of new people into the scene yeah i feel like each moonshake release had an influx of people somehow finding out because i know the metal gear solid and sonic 3 ones definitely made me uh yeah I don't know how I found those out. You're late, dot gif. Oh, absolutely, I will never <laughs> deny that. <laughs> I, w- I was late at the right point, at least, though. <laughs> True. I'm gonna transition us over to Echo. I don't know what there is to say about the Echo dupes, but uh, there's Echo. So Echo, they're both the Sega CD. Echo, obviously. Um, otherwise, we wouldn't be comparing them. Yeah, talk about a missed um, opportunity with uh, with art. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I do love that cover. It looks um, great. But it does. To re- to redo a boot with the exact same art essentially is just like oof. I'm sorry, <laughs> Chad. Know. No, no Echo jams. So the oh god, Echo jams. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that boot is so bad but uh what was i saying oh yeah this one so the older echo uh bootleg is a very old pressing i think it's from mm-hmm. 20 18 or something really it's that far back i think so you might be right i remember every time i see it i'm surprised at the yeah the uh, same um there is a issue with that Pressing. Yeah, it is from 2016. I just looked it up. Um, okay. One of the songs does cut off. <laughs> That's how a side ends. It's just the, the song just randomly cuts off. Uh, and then obviously the other one does have two LPs. It's 
the complete soundtrack rather than selected. Uh, but there is like a little bit of a charm of the original one for some reason. I get I mean, maybe it's because it's such an early boot release and it was one of the first ones I had. Mm-hmm. But um, I, I like the hype sticker on it and I, I like the back cover that shows like the the Sega CD console and I think yeah. it has the a fake barcode on it, which is the the game's barcode. That's neat. That's a fun little detail. <laughs> 2016, that, though, that's, that's pretty wild. That that predates most... That's ancient. Every, yeah, most everything. <laughs> yeah, predates Toto Karibo and... Um, pretty much the only bootlegs that existed back then were moon, the Moonshake ones and a couple of other random ones. Are we talking about Echo? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Dude, there was one on Discogs for like forty dollar or eighty bucks, and I was like, I should buy this. And then literally, all of a sudden, they're like, we don't allow bootlegs on Discogs anymore, and they canceled all the listings. Oh, and I remember I when that like, happened. Damn. That fucking sucked. <laughs> <laughs> to this day, Pico regrets Echo. I do. I want the boot one and not the other one. I don't like it that much. Discogs says it comes from germany but i think it actually comes from france that's because that's yeah. reading about the places you were able to buy it were all french websites i, I uh, remember reading about this somewhere i don't know how i have any information about this and that one got reissued is that correct i think it has two pressings but they're really tough to distinguish i think the yeah. um the hype sticker looks a little different on the mm-hmm. second one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've not uh not seen either of those in person. But the uh, the Discogs info is wrong on the um, the repress because it says it's from 2019. There's absolutely no way it was. Yeah. It was it was before that. You'd you'd see a lot of mail days about more echoes if that was true. Real quick, I'm gonna bring in a. Someone in our waiting room that we haven't talked to. I'm going to bring in Norin chat with us. Hey, Norin. You, you there? Hey, guys. Sorry, I had to meet hey. myself. Yeah, hey, we get it. We know how that goes. So, we're talking about duplicates. We're talking about these doubles. Is there any release that you've double dipped or thought about double dipping or what what's uh, your experience with some of these well is, is there I'm, any that we haven't touched on that you might want to touch on uh well you're probably going to get to it but uh i don't have experience with it firsthand but i've listened to streams and i've listened to them well one of them live uh the other one i've never heard in person but uh the pokemon like the new, new Pokemon and then the Moonshake Pokemon. All right. We can um, talk about that next, then. Yeah. Like, that's the one that... I've heard the Moonshake Pokemon, <laughs> and I know the... I've heard many people talk about the various audio nitpicks and issues with it, because, yeah, there are parts of it that don't sound fantastic. Um, Moonshake Pokemon is not stupendous by any means. Yeah. Um... I think it's kind of like it's another one of those it's another one of those where both of them have issues where because everybody's been talking about the new pressing is the loops on it are kind of truncated um Mm -hmm. and i haven't heard i haven't heard i've heard samples of it but i haven't been able to listen to an entire stream of it so i don't know how bad it is but yeah um i've heard that that uh, that's the one main complaint that I've heard with that one. And I can understand how that would be vexing to people, especially because the, the music, it's rare that you can get through an entire area without hearing the track start over. So people's, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You, people are used to hearing it start over at least once or twice. At least once. Yeah. yeah. I would say, uh, I would say the sound quality on the newer pressing is good. It's more of the, um, the mixing is what's going to be polarizing uh, to people because um, 
the way it's it's mixed is is kind of different uh almost like the jam and sam miller donkey kong it's okay it's uh, some liberties were taken with how the the different channels were mixed so it's it may not sound how, how you're used to it sounding yeah that's that's a good way to put it um, yeah that, and... that one also does have the uh pokemon yellow tracks in it whereas the moonshake one does not so it has that but then the the moonshake has the anime opening theme which is not on the new one so i just forget that's on there i didn't i i always I know don't know a lot about moonshake so i'm always like surprised by those little oh and it has that one song just randomly on it's like oh yeah the okay. last song is usually always a surprise and yeah. not listed okay yeah, uh, Kenny in the chat saying I don't love the art on either one of these. That's that's kind of how I feel. It's kind of lukewarm. And the yeah. uh, the obligatory uh, missing Kabutops from the Pokemon cover. I think it may be <laughs> the, the only one that's not there. <laughs> I never even knew that. Poor Kabutops. And then you've got the, what is it, the, the floating, the floating sprites and the new one, I think, is... That was something that I knew had gotten pointed out with the art. And the like the, when you open the gatefold, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was an interesting gatefold. It would That's... be nice to see <laughs> it get the uh, the full treatment, you know, maybe a couple LP. <laughs> I <at> agree. <laughs> but hey, I don't know. I, what, here, here's a good question then. What Would you buy another Pokemon <laughs> if they released a 2 LP? I would. Yeah. I, I don't for sure, know. Yeah, for who... sure. I don't good know if I would at this point. I think if it sounds like how it's supposed to sound, and it's two LPs, and it looks nice, I would definitely rebuy it. Yeah, it'd be hard to say no, I feel like. Tri I would triple yeah. dip on that one. <laughs> triple, <laughs> triple dip. <laughs> how about that? I guess uh could have triple dipped on uh, Donkey Kong as well. Yeah, that's had, true. Had you been around. I guess... Um... Since we're talking Pokemon, this probably, I don't know if anyone in the chat actually has an answer for it, but like, um, so you said the mixing was bad on, or, or contentious on the new Pokemon release. Yeah, no, Do I'm they... not saying it's bad. It's definitely not bad. No, no, it's, it's contentious. Like, yeah. <laughs> but, um, so how would you go? About... I guess. I guess so one would have to extract all the channels out of the Game Boy, either um, hardware or through a ROM. And like, do when 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 one extracts those files, is it um, does it have the levels on them, or do you have to f find out those levels yourselves? I'm I don't sure. know. I'm not smart enough for this question. Like, if you somehow figure it out how to do, like, all the channels separately, then you would have to, like, remix the songs in, like, I don't mm. know, like, mixing. You have to, like, create a whole room of reverb, you know, and, like, make all the instruments, like, sound alike. So you'd have to make all the four channels. It'd be hard, like, if one ended up being louder than the other because it would eat, like, mm. other instruments. It'd honestly be the dumbest way to do Pokemon. Isn't that how, like... Aren't, aren't the four channels like did they not extract them i don't know um but but isn't that what, what we're what you're talking about with the mixing being a little yeah, the, yeah so so the uh the second pokemon release it sounds like a tad off i don't know some songs i just totally like, agree it sounds off. about it and what i think is is they couldn't like recreate they tried like too big of a task to take all the tracks and put them together and mix it like separately like that and like they didn't achieve it on a bunch of tracks they like it was just a tad off and it, you can tell mm. if you like played the game Zach says the best way to, is to listen to it is to strap two Game Boys to your ears and sync them <laughs> up by pressing start on both at once well, if, is sage, if, sage the uh, <laughs> if, if I'm not mistaken I could be wrong about this, but I think Pokemon Red and Blue are only in mono. And I think Yellow, they added a stereo option for headphones. Oh. Um, I don't know, know how 
the stereo listening to yellow and stereo how that would compare with this, yeah. this vinyl release huh i had not heard that before that's interesting frank's teaching us all that's why i wanted frank on this podcast i'm st- <laughs> i'm not that, i could be wrong though i'm not 100 percent sure frank is absolutely that. sure that pokemon yellow is stereo <laughs> But see, it's I don't know if it's like fake stereo or if it's like true stereo, uh, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, I get you there. A lot oh. of people call that one red, blue, green, but it's red, blue, yellow. Yeah. It's not green. It's because of the green variant, I think, that gets people. Yeah. Mess up. Which I guess why didn't they make that yellow, but whatever. Um Well, thanks for coming on, Noren. I I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so the viewers might see that we don't have a sponsor this week. And it's a question mark. What What are we doing with the sponsors? Because after last week, we kind of had a blow up. And uh, I, I'm, I'm not sure how we're funding this right now, but we are alive. And I did not figure this out. We're We're starving. And I don't know if Frank wants to just make up a sponsor right now and, and we can put him on the spot. Uh, please no don't make way. Me do that. <laughs> <laughs> I could read, read, I'll read something on the spot, but I'm not. Hey, can doing you just, a whole... can you make up a whole ass thing? Can you yeah, add, sell tell me a joke, on funny Pokemon? Man. Yeah. <laughs> tell the fucking joke. <laughs> make me laugh. I think we got plenty of, uh, plenty of releases to go through. We do. I'm going to move on to Kirby. Hot. Wait, Pico, Brought what? By Hot Joey. Okay. Put him in the oven, and now you got a hunk. 15-minute hunk. Hot Joey. <laughs> Hot Joey. Hot Joey. Say hey. it. Say, hey. say the word. Um. Wait, Hot Joey? Yep. Thanks, Joey. Um. <laughs> yeah, we we're moving on to, to Kirby. kind of toppings Hot Joey had. What toppings do you have? Hot um, Joey with anchovies. Uh, oh, hot, God. <laughs> classic Hot Joey comes with um, regular pepperoni and the jumbo pepperoni that Papa John's had that one time a couple years ago. Oh, okay. And spinach. That's a, that's a Hot Joey. Mm, jumbo pepperoni. Yeah, I like pepperoni. I like what pe- what just pepperoni does to a pizza. So, like, my, my go-to is Papa John's. Um, I like that Shaq is kind of the the figurehead for it now. That's a, that's a lot of fun. And like a just pepperoni pizza from Papa John's is a whole different kind of pizza. It's nowhere near any other pizza I've gotten from Papa John's. It's just the, the pepperoni crease does something to the pizza that I mwah, so great. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So that's a hot Joey. Thank you, Joey. Mm-hmm. Thanks for having hot me. Hot Joey. I mean, we can keep you for now if you want. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll hang out. Whatever, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it looks like we got... Uh, we got oh, Kirby. you updated the sponsors. Uh, we gotta. <laughs> wow, you are so... We love Matrix in this show, don't we? I do what I can. It's fu- It's like an unofficial... Like a like a last-minute sponsor. It's almost this like an unofficial a, sponsor. It is a bootleg sponsor. I yeah. Gotta be we love Giving our bootlegs. Us going underwater. <laughs> battery 60 percent okay my battery's charged now um what the hell is yeah, a kirby i always am astounded by how much i love the newer uh kirby's adventure boot yeah this one has uh, a very very clear winner as to which yeah, is yeah. better it's the so art pretty. the art is just so fucking cool so you like, add a drop shadow oh <laughs> jokes on you that's just the font because <laughs> oh. <laughs> my understanding it's actual uh paper craft yeah all actual paper that's craft. What, yeah i think the shadows are actually like being cast yeah by the but... paper craft which is okay now that have, uh, my mind uh, equals blown right now yeah once you know that and you look at the jacket it becomes that's like... why it looks so different like it just it doesn't look like that it, like if if I don't know. It, just, it always looked a little bit different to me, and that makes sense, is that's why it just looks like it, it's better quality. I don't know what it was. But now I know what it was! It was pretty, pretty <laughs> it's cool! It's real, real paper crafts. Wow! Well, 
I had, I had a question actually. When I saw, when I realized that about the Kirby's Adventure, uh, that I had looked at the uh, the pilot wings um, jacket as well, and I was wondering, does anyone know if that's that's papercraft as well? Because it kind of looks like it. Once you, uh, I don't believe it is. It isn't. It has it has a similar sort of like looking texture to it, but I wasn't sure. But yeah, yeah, it has drop shadows, but I think it's just digital. Kirby's Adventure just uh, blows it out of the water, the new one. The smash tracks. I'm a smash nut. So, yeah. like, that that makes me go crazy, makes me go stupid. Yeah, I'm those and, uh, sure. I, think, I also really and, enjoy it. Technically, one of the tracks, I mean, it says it's from uh, Smash Brothers, which is true, but it's actually from, uh, originally from Air Ride, so. Mm. Cool. They just reused it for Smash Brothers. Right. Right. Frank's Can't teaching us with right every now. release. One of the facts Frank's going to tell us is a lie. So you have to figure that out <laughs> by the end of the podcast. You have to fi- figure it out and then and email the podcast. Email. <laughs> we'll send you a no prize. Wait, is there an email for the podcast? Uh, we can, wait, there is. <laughs> I have an email, yeah. <laughs> what is it? The VG for all I... podcast at gmail.com is actually what we we have. So yeah, uh, I think, I think you, you shared the password with all of us when you I made did. it, and then we we all forgot about it. Yep. Hell yeah, that's what we do. Or email the sponsors at hotjoey at hotmail dot com or whatever Alex was about <laughs> to say. Hot Joey. I think it'd be fun to consider. Are you saying it like a hot pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Uh, I think we like what? Joey in the evening, Joey in the evening, Joey at supper time. When thought, Joey's I, on a bagel, you could have hot Joey anytime. I thought you were doing a hot blooded by Foreigner. That's what it sounded like. Hot, 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 hot Joey. Hot Joey. <laughs> I got a Joey and he's hotter than me. Hot Joey. Hot Joey. That's a good one. I, I, man, I, I was I was gonna try and say, oh, we could do like a, a, a p- pizza rolls, Tim and Eric, but I don't even want to try to sing that because. <laughs> Hot Joey. <laughs> Speaking of pizza rolls, oh, we're not up to Tony Hawk yet, right? Buddy, I can take us to Tony Hawk whenever I <laughs> no, no. remember how to use no. OVS. You don't. You- <laughs> You don't have to. I just wanted to do a stupid segue. Too bad. I'm doing it. We're past Kirby and we're at Tony Hawk. I did not get the third image of the same picture, basically. (laughs) That's okay. So there's three Tony Hawks. And they all came out relatively around the same time. Especially the one with the similar cover. That was so weird. I have all those. I don't know why. <laughs> those, aren't, those aren't the. I thought that was the same label who did the first two. Well, okay. So. The so the first one was not on a label. It's uh, and it has two different pressings. I think one is blue and one is red. That's what I'm referring to. Then the second one is on the. Can I say it? Well, just maybe just say the. Uh, I mean, is it Tony Hawk One and Two that you're talking about? No, 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 no. The the middle one. Oh, um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that well, that one, uh, and that's on, that's on like a light blue press. Yeah, that, yeah, that one's only blue. Okay, that's why I get confused because the first two have blue uh, variants. I think, which always confuses me. And then, yeah, obviously the the last one is the combo Tony Hawk one and two. Wait, so Joe wants to hear talk about Tony's Hawk. Hey, Joe. Thanks, Hawk. I, I saw you in chat saying, "Let me in." All right. So I'm gonna talk about these Tony Hawks. Yeah. All right. Uh, you guys hear me? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. I have not experienced the first two, but I have experienced the third. And while I have no nostalgia for the game at all, I think the art and presentation for that third 2LP Tony Hawk is some of the best that has come around. Yeah, I think that's such a, a well put together and neat uh, release. It's it, by far my favorite from that label. Yeah. 
I'm that's still stunned. That's one that stunned. has the grip tape on the inside, right? Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. grip tape it, is just except stunned. Air's copy. That's insane. I can't wait. I think I do, I have a copy on the way now. And the eyeball variant? That shit is badass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah. That, eyeball variant. That Neversoft yeah. logo was so scary as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was cool. Yeah, I like that one. I actually thought you could cut the grip tape out and put it on the skateboard <laughs> that came with it, but it turns oh. out it didn't work. Oh. You got Pico <laughs> over there with an exacto <laughs> knife trying to get the grip <laughs> tape out. Yeah, the eyeball variant's cool. With Officer Dick on the other side or whatever. Yeah. That's a variant. I did not hold on to it because I only liked the art. But yeah, I just think it's absolutely stunning. It is. I, I love that cover. Does it, wasn't there a picture of, of Tony Hawk holding one? Or no, yeah. it's... He signed yeah, it. He, 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 yeah. got, he sold one for some charity. It was a charity. Girl, like, yeah. Or a fundraiser yeah. for something. Which is cool. Uh, really, he was really he cool. was stoked about that. I think he he was all over it. Yeah, that, that's I, I like whenever uh so somebody involved in, in a bootleg vinyl gets it gets around to the to someone involved. With, yeah, I mean it's the boot of. It's it's not his music getting stolen, so that's he doesn't true. Care. That's <laughs> like trying to compare like yeah. David Wise getting a Donkey Kong Country. He's like, oh yeah, this again. <laughs> Which one? Is uh, oh, that's cool. I remember so, somebody on Twitter asked Tony Hawk where they could buy that one, and he was like, "You can't, lol." <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he just hit him with it. It's classified. <laughs> <laughs> Insane. So uh, there are some interesting differences between the first two, despite them looking almost the same. Mm -hmm. Does only one of the first two have the locked groove? I didn't know there was a lock yeah, proof, yeah, so yes. <laughs> yeah, okay, so the first one, with the one that technically came out first, which is the one that's not on a label, uh, that's apparently limited to 100 copies, even though there's like 300 <laughs> people on Discogs yeah. that, that have yeah. it. But, so that one is a direct game rip, meaning it's the exact oh. audio that's on the PlayStation disc, meaning it's not the full songs uh swear words are censored thank god uh and it also has skating sound effects in between the tracks kind of just to segue into the next track oh, mercy. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah which i like i actually really like that about it um and yes it, it, that one has a locked groove which is more uh skating sounds so i, th I think that one being you know a direct rip from the game makes it kind of unique and cool in that sense i still much prefer the the other ones but the um the the next one the light blue one has uncensored tracks uh and it also has the pal exclusive tracks um so it has three tracks that actually aren't on either of the other two So that's the difference with those. That's, that's those. Yeah, that's a cool touch on that one. Hold, hold up. It, I, I know we got all, like a full house in this voice channel, and I don't really care, but we're at an hour mark. Are we Are we plugged in? Are we ready for a little extended edition? I'm here. Hot Joey. I'm, I'm you here. You guys need your I'm vitamins. Yeah, I'm in. All right, everybody. We're, <laughs> we're going to keep on rolling because we got a decent <laughs> yeah. amount more to go through. Yeah, this is this oh, is a fun to topic, your and I'm keeping if I'm I keeping may. everyone in here. Yeah, we're hostages. Unless you Yay. leave, oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'll, I'll get we're, Cody in here eventually. We're reverse hostages. Yay! All right, I'm gonna move on I so think... we can keep the ball rolling, and we got Mega Man's Mega Men. Whoa! Talk about I it. I don't own any Mega Man releases. Yeah, I don't own any Mega Man. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, why not? Um, I joined uh, the Moonshake shit for uh, during Legend of Zelda, so I missed that one, and I've never had the opportunity to get uh, the Moonshake Mega Man, and I kind of stopped buying them when Mega Man 3 came out. So, 
those are those are the two I've probably purchased. And I, I never I don't see Mega Man X very often, so I just like yeah. have never I've never thought about buying it because I just don't see it pop up. It's one of those releases. Not, not a big enough fan of the series for uh, the box sets. No, I think yeah. I got my shit fucked up when I was a little kid playing Mega Man, and like it just you know what it wasn't very common for me to do but i think i just maybe played like one level of a couple Mega Man games and uh never anything else the only one i played was the uh what was it gba that like Mega Man yeah. exe or battle, battle network oh, yeah. battle network okay. yeah that game was fucking sick but i love that game and not very Mega Man-y. i, I uh, never got never got into that series not the e, the dot exe or battle network ones i never really played like those cool. I enjoyed them a lot. That network was a, have... uh, a tactics game, right? Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Like a like I... a live action tactics game. For a very short time, I know we don't do uh, tape releases on this podcast, but I had that two tape Mega Man boot. Mm-hmm. I think it was Mega Man Legends one and two, maybe. And oh, I, I think it was that. just the first okay. one, right? It might have just been the first one, but it was a really nice put together package, you know, with the paper chest to you know, evoke something from that game. But I never played. Uh, I uh, I got a Mega Man Two uh, Moonshake uh, what, two months ago, and that was that's like my that and the Zelda Moonshake were like my big two. So getting that Mega Man in was just great, and I love David Bowie. So that that cover, I've I've seen that cover around since like it came out before I was in like in um, Maine or yeah. in the community so I was like man that's a pretty cool thing I had a saved search on eBay like for like three years oh. the time I saw him go and your, yours is the the red one right yeah my uh, mine is the uh the, the solo red from the the second wave a rare Joey yeah that looks yeah. super uh-huh, nice Joey. in that color yeah it's I really love I like I, I like the blue a lot but that red one is just there's the it's just so different. I've literally never seen that before yeah. until the person I got it from was like, oh, I have this. I was like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. Some of them are yellow. Some of them have blue and yellow. Some of them have all yeah. three. Yeah, the multicolored right. ones are cool. I think I think that actually might be one of my favorite Moonshake jackets as well. Uh, it's really it, simple, obviously, and stripped yeah. down. But I, I, I feel it like, it's just like it gets the point across really nicely. Yeah. And that, like that the one has are. the... Uh, What's up? I like the box art and all the art with the box set, but it's just like, I don't see a lot of people talk about it much besides just, here it is. Yeah. It has I've the got, box, I've got the two box art? Coming. Oh, I, Are you I talking about the, the lace? The box set for Mega Man games. Oh, bo- the box set. Okay, I thought you were saying like one my of them had the NES box are good. art. No. <laughs> oh, I wish actually. <laughs> that, would, that would rock. That would be cool. Uh, well, Moonshake has the DuckTales Moon theme, so... Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Does that win by default? <laughs> it really does. I didn't know it was on there, and I was listening to it when I got it. I was like, no way, it's got the Moon theme? What could you want? Dang, maybe I do want this record. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, there's also uh, um, the release that Capcom put out directly, which was uh, a compilation, but it had a lot of... Oh yeah, it's one, like a picture disc. Two. And oh, oh no! Oh wait, no. There's that too. I wasn't yeah, talking about that. The hot the topic lab. and space lab. <laughs> yeah, the way best of one through ten. I don't like how that one looks. There's pictures of it. The packaging seems kind of cute. That's one like the. It's like a black cover and like the art kind of pops through from like a die cut. Yeah, yeah. That, right? The one that it, it looks like a one of the uh, NES sleeve. Right. Yeah. yeah. The stupidest part about that release, and I, I could be wrong about this, but I don't think there's any track from Mega Man 3 on it. Oh. Okay. The Space the space Lab one, which is like, what the hell? Should, should have at least got one. Yeah, I think it has... Rights. It like maybe has like one from every game, and then it has like three from Mega Man 2. Just went too hard. Let me look... Nah, maybe I'm wrong about this. Maybe it does have one. Yeah, that that sleeve. Oh, okay, that was the Mega Pack edition that had that sleeve. Because I remember the first time I got my copy, I got it from GameStop, and it was just in one of those no. like sticky poly 
holder thingies. I, I, I was right. There's no songs from three on it. <laughs> like, what were they thinking when they did that? It's Mega Man Christ. one through ten. It's it that's false advertising. It should say one through two, and then <laughs> one four, two, through four through ten. Yeah. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't roll off the tongue quite as well. <laughs> you know what yeah. yeah. surprised me? It sounds like a, like a reasoning behind not putting Mega Man three is somehow the creator of the music on that one got a royalty deal, <laughs> and they were just like, screw them, we're not going to put this on this. I don't think so, because the, like a year later, Capcom released their own compilation and it had plenty from 3 on it. Yeah, was yeah. that the 1 through 3? I think yeah, Kenny, yeah. Kenny mentioned that in chat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he he forgot about it. So much Mega Man that I didn't even yeah. put them all here. Someone said Laystar re-releasing re X1 and, and yeah. uh, Mega Man 2 and 3. Yeah, yeah. I have the yeah. 2 re-release on order. That's cool that they're doing the individuals. It really oh, upsets yeah, me that um, the Mega Man laced box set and the uh, like has some tracks that uh, the Mega Packet the the uh, Space Lab one doesn't have, and like I think there are some like Mega Man five and seven tracks on the Space Lab one that aren't on the box set, and so you if you want to get as definitive as you can. You have to have both of them. And wow. It's just very frustrating. Okay. Yeah. I thought. Wait. Okay, which which ones are you talking about? Like which numbered games? I thought one through six on the lace uh, box that was complete. No, no, five is not complete because that that was one. I I just want a full complete soundtrack too. But I think oh, they're wow. missing I some didn't tracks. Know that. Good good boss by Pico. Jeff. I think. I think only one, two, and at. three are fully complete on the lace yeah. box set. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Hmm. Yeah, Mega Man 5 is only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, it's only eight. I read uh, Mega Man fans point me to start um, to see how I feel about the game's music. Because I two. just like hard to do. Right, too. Yeah, two is two is the best. Two goes hard. Oh my god, two is just so great. I got sucked into Mega Man two. Th I I found out about Mega Man two from a uh, Nico Nico Doga, a, a medley video on YouTube that I found. <laughs> uh, it was a uh, Super Mario World Test like song playthrough. One of those videos. Yeah, I got I got absorbed with Mega Man two through that. It's great. I bought a, a little I Heart My Airman sign from a cool and eclectic store in my mall because, like, that's funny. I'll put this with my Mega Man stuff. But it was for uh, Air Force. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mega Man's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool, Mega Man. How do you guys uh, feel about the um, Yoshimi uh, tribute cover? I like it. Oh, oh, yeah, it's great. It's such a great, <laughs> such a great concept. It's such yeah, a that's, that's a really good one. It's that, like that, that was unfortunate another. the way it looks because I like the top half of Yellow Giant more than the legs, but it's still. <laughs> I feel Very like good. I feel like it was well executed, um, as well. One of the better executed sleeves. Shake, so. Towards the end, towards the end though, they were all starting to look pretty good. Like yeah. the Sonic front, the Sonic's a, a banger. Yeah, I, I, I love the shit out of that jacket. It's so absurd. Sonic uh, three, that is. I mean, speaking of other moonshakes, Me Metal Gear Solid was mm. another. Do I think Frank and I were talking before the podcast started of like whether Echo or Metal Gear Solid were the first dupes to happen. Metal Gear Solid was crazy because it was like really at the same time. Yeah, or at like, least like I, sh very shortly after. Yeah, yeah. I think the uh, the Moonshake one was teased first, and then the Mondo eventually announced theirs. Uh, but as far as them coming out, I think it was like pretty much the same time. Yeah, I can't can't remember the exact time frame, but um. Okay. Uh, at least I'm looking at Discogs. It says Moonshake's March 2019, and Mondo's July 2019. Mm, so oh, so the Mondo one was probably a pre-order. And or something? I don't know. 
I thought Maybe. that July 2019 was when they first started shopping it around, like the Gray Fox variants at the cons. Maybe. Mm. That might be yeah, more accurate. When was, uh, it was a Comic Con exclusive, right? Yeah. So I guess it would have had to fit that time frame whenever Comic Con was. Yeah. I like I that like... Comic Con exclusive. Someone on this show said that they didn't like the art of the Mondo release before. I feel like I remember someone saying that. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. I don't like it. I think uh, a lot of us have actually. I I'm not like a fan it. of the official one. I like, I don't... I like all the official Metal Gear releases that have been done personally i think they, i think they've done a good job with them i don't dislike it but i agree i can't remember if this was said on air or not but i not. agree <laughs> oh, the okay green the green yeah. tone is should... not indicative of metal gear solid one or at least they should have saved it for three yeah Agreed. um so differences between these um Moonshake is 1 LP. The Mondo is 2 LP. Uh, Moonshake has the PlayStation BIOS uh, mm -hmm. sound. And it also has some of the VR missions uh, jingles. Yeah. Uh, whereas the other one does not. But the other one also has extended tracks. And uh, other than that, I think they're basically the same. They both rock. Over overall, they're they're really good. I like the concept for the uh, parody cover too, but yeah. it's kind of it's pretty lazy. Can, like it might be the laziest one in some regard. You're pretty much just through Cycle Mantis over I'd agree that with. person. Is it is it Ozzy who's originally on the cover? I yeah, it's a, yeah, I think it's him. What's what Black Sabbath four? Oh, yeah, it's volume four. So. Sure and the, the and not. the back cover is just the inverted, and I know that's also um, Black Sabbath Volume Four, but it, it just it, yeah, I think Un Volume Four was uh, a gatefold, and it actually had interesting stuff in the center mm. or uh, in the opening, but then uh, this is just a, a single jacket. It just has the same art basically on the front and back, and yeah, not my favorite either. Yeah. Nico, thoughts? Was... On what? Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> oh, the Black Sabbath cover? Sure. <laughs> it's like I wasn't even paying attention. Um, <laughs> I'm really yeah, in the building like this that. town right here. I'm He's trying to go to town. <laughs> like a teacher calling on you in class. <laughs> I, I don't know if I'm going to put this game down tonight. I'm like in this farm thing. Like, these people fucking worshipping me over here. <laughs> You should also refer to him by his in-game name, Sir Ass. Sir Ass. Yeah. God Ass. <laughs> That's when, all. When I, oh, God. When ass, I wanted man. to jump to, because I felt like... Sure. It was one of the... Maybe one of the ones with... I don't know, most interesting elements between the two, but the least amount of disparities, maybe? It would be uh, Splatterhouse. Um, mm. I, th I thought... Those were. You guys think the saw disc is like a cool novelty, or is it's fucking uh, stupid? I think it's cool to own one, uh, one record like that. One, <laughs> one yeah. saw yeah. per yeah. collection. Yeah, I don't think you need it anymore. <laughs> and then that's that. You're good. But I think, I think it's a cool fun. Art. I think it's a fun novelty, but I don't think it. The splatter is so weak on it. I feel like it. If the if the blood splatter looked a little better, it would be a lot cooler looking. They should actually do one side sound and then the other side just red paint for the blood, you know? Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a really... Just splatter it Everybody on. Everybody wants paint on their vinyl. Mm -hmm. The artwork on the, the one on the right is terrible, in my opinion. <laughs> it's just a... It's, it's a cropped version of the genesis box and with the uh, heavy filter on top ugh. whereas yeah, the tried. yeah whereas the one on the left i believe is a completely new piece of art like you know based Shit. on on the um on the on box the art but... gotcha i didn't know yeah, that. that left one is original art that's beautiful i, I don't yeah. know a lot about the series so 
Me neither. I always assumed it was some piece of official artwork. Yeah. I, I guess There's I did a, too. It's pretty easy to find the guy's uh, deviant art. Okay. Who did that one? It seems like. Oh, know. you're right. I see it now. So Let's maybe see, maybe it was anything. used. Yeah, I don't know oh. if it was used uh, officially or not. Oh. They're uh, with permission. <laughs> Hopefully it was. Years open. Well, actually, it, uh, what's when? When did they post this on? D okay, no, oh. never mind. It was years ago. <laughs> yeah, there, just found it. And just like that, I found it. There's in the description of it. Um, there is a sentence that says, uh, "I'm very sorry for the watermark in the middle of the artwork. I'm having a lot of issues with my art being stolen." So, so uh, <laughs> yeah. wow. Okay, well, I guess uh, we found out something new on the air. <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we could email him. Hey, if we can find whoever but... who did the one on the left, clear up the air. Next week we'll uh, email us at, uh, what was our email? Uh, VGM for all podcast at gmail.com and we can clear some things up. Yeah, sure I doubt you're listening. What is VGM for all? Or email me, hot Joey at Hotmail. Just say hey. Pico, that is such a big hot question we're not ready now. for. <laughs> That's, that's like a season finale sort of question. <laughs> that's a whole ass <laughs> podcast just on a dumb question you're just saying. <laughs> How much time does the do you lose in Splatterhouse 2 when you have that uh, that saw blade cut into it? Like, does that cut oh, into yeah. the 12 inch? Uh, yeah, I think it makes it like a. It's a ten. The saw blade's a ten inch, right? So. Yeah. And with the extra. I don't. I don't think it's too much different as far as um, duration. I'm not. I, I, can't, I don't know. I mean, you're losing the, you know, part of the record with the biggest uh, circumference. So, what do you guys? What do you guys think of ten inches? Like, are they the most annoying fucking records you have in your collection? Tens. I, I feel like, like that yeah. might be your. I I like ten <laughs> inches more than than the seven inch records. Uh, I, I just I'd, I'd rather have a like... seven than a ten. I think just because I have more sevens than I have tens. Yeah. I like both of them. Uh, I would honestly go with any weird shape of record. The thing I don't <laughs> like, and this is such a I have a nice record player problem, is I don't like switching to forty five on my. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I have see. to take off the platter. I hate. I hate that. So I don't ha have. Gotta a get a direct problem. drive. I don't have a problem with 10 inches specifically, but I kind of don't like when you have like a set of something and it's some of them are 10 inches and some yeah. of them are 12 inches. Like the Metal Gears, like I wish they were just all 12s. Right. Like the Radiohead? Yeah, that shit is that's so a totally fair. The weirdest one I have is a 6 inch by Melt Banana. I think it's the only 6 inch I've seen, maybe. What? I've got that Weird Al 3 inch. I've seen a lot of 6 inches. Jeez. I would totally get a couple three inches. No one take this podcast out of context, please. Thank you. Nobody take it out of context. I have a wife. <laughs> Joe has a wife. Sp as far as the Splatterhouse vinyl records, it seems like the Sawblade one has like maybe size are around 15 minutes and the other one they're around like 17 minutes. Mm -hmm. So it's probably like roughly the same. Speaking of the same, Super Mario 64. Ooh. Ooh. That's a big, different one. I don't know why I said it like that, but yeah. <laughs> we got the Ray Gunt, and we got the oh. this other one. Having come There's in. also a third one that never got made. Oh, Ray is, Ray Ray Gunt. is that the weird? <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, Having come into this hobby rather late, as of like December 2019 or something, I can't remember when, uh, I love the Ray Gunt for the reference to the Ray Gun. Yeah, that's. I'll, I'll always stand by that as an excellent, excellent decision. I will say, because I don't think anyone really talks down about the Ray Gunt. Um. I will say I don't like the back art of the Raygunt records, Super Mario 64. I think it's really uninspired. And I know it probably came from like a, a, a small 
I think I think I only saw a blurry photograph of the original ray gun back. Yeah. So it's just like like ba- basing an entire back off of that. I I get doing the front cover, but I th- I think you could have done better with the back cover. Yeah. I can't recall what the back cover looks like. I'd have to pull it out. That's how forgettable it is. Yeah, I'm gonna screenshot and post in discussion. So I've got my catalog. But yeah, it's just those green hills and then clouds like on a brick wall. Right, that's what I was oh, thinking. Yeah, yeah with that it just little didn't brick feel filter. Like that was right when I was thinking about it, but Well, both two LP on those. Mm-hmm. Um Reagan has I, I don't think the the original boot had any of like the like ambient sounds from the game, did it? I don't think so. I haven't listened to that that one in a long time. Yeah, so they have slightly different sequencing. Um, same source on both, though. Both of them are the uh, use the album mixes of the songs rather than a hardware rip. All right, Cody and Cody. Hmm. I want to look. What's up, Cody? But I feel like uh, the. The ray gun was more true to the sequence of the game. I felt like correct. Yeah, um, it's, it's yeah. they're so in. I, I remember like uh, what was it when I first listened to it? It's like docks or lava land or something. That's like really early in the record, and it just felt like super weird hearing it. Like it was one of like the first stage songs. Yeah, the um the file select music is also at the the back end of uh the one on the left rather than you know being one of the first tracks like it should be (laughs) and uh aren't there different sleeves is that the are all of those the same (laughs) you know what i mean like the covers like are they all yeah because i I have a different cover yeah yeah i think so yeah there's three cover variations for the left one okay I never knew for sure, so thank you for clarifying. So one of them is 3D rendered, one of them is painted, and then actually two of them are 3D rendered with just different um, uh, di- different different layouts. One of them has like the like the castle behind it, and I think one's just in the sky, like in the picture. On mm-hmm. the yeah. Looks like I have the uh, mine. The one I have is the painted one. I like that that one. Uh, the the booklet has the um the speed running picture on the front where Mario phases into the invisible wall. I didn't remember that when I, I I don't know if it's supposed to be a direct thing. Is that's the first thing I thought of was that the Watch for Rolling Ox video. I mean that that's just in yeah, general. The that's a rent a, a popular re- render like image from that game yeah you know so i don't i don't think it's a direct reference okay my uh my brain's uh, uh, looks weird i like the uh, the painted uh bob on battlefield insert yeah did that bob on battlefield come with all the other variants or just the painted one just the painted one if i recall oh Oh, that's that yeah that's a great yeah, the, my Dibs Mario copy was that one, so epic. Thanks oh, for the, uh, th- there's probably some audio difference between the two. Yeah. Okay. I have no, I have no reference for the right one. <laughs> uh, well, uh, audio difference as far as sequencing or as far as like the quality. Yeah, like, I guess ma- mastering. Just, yeah, just general quality. I guess I wasn't. Yeah, I, I think uh, I think the Ray Gun one sounds a little better as far as uh, the sound quality and mastering and all that. And I do like the the sound effects like interspliced and it makes it a little bit more of a enjoyable experience and more like you know a nostalgic, I guess. Sure. It also has also has locked grooves. Oh, cool. Oh, I love good. Locker oh, grooves. yeah. Uh huh. The lockers are great. That's fun. That's cool. I, I like that there's it definitely, you can tell just from like the images of it that it, the presentation came first. Well, with the latter, it was kind of more just like, just to get the music out, which is fine. Mm-hmm. Too. Like, yeah. Good in its own way. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. Bef- they come with. Before the the one on the left came out, there was like on the Facebook group every week or every two weeks, someone would be like, "Where's the Super Mario sixty four release? I want a Super Mario sixty four release." Yeah, and so like I I do think that that it was partly like let's just get it out there because everyone is wanting it. Right. Yeah. Mm. I see someone uh, mentioned in chat the cursed Mario sixty four. Oh, yeah. Does anybody have that? Yes. Yeah. So that lathe, right? uh, the so the yeah it's a it's a lathe from Greece, um, ten copies. The um one of the the variants for the Ray Gunt test pressing uh that image was actually recreated for the test pressing. So there's some That's of those great. that look 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 huh. like that as well. Uh, in response to the ten copies thing, I was watching. I I I viewed, or I think I DM someone about a copy on Discogs, and that they had taken it down. That oh, sorry, that one sold. Then I got a message like a couple weeks later. They were like, "Hey, we're getting a couple more in. If you were interested," uh-huh. and I just didn't respond. And I was like, because I was like, "What do you mean you're getting a couple more in? There's supposed to be ten. <laughs> so that means that means they're making them. <laughs> Rut row. <laughs> Stocks down. Joey's plummeting. Super <laughs> laid stocks. But yeah. that's our sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. Insider trading. Take that big leap. Damn what it. do you What do you guys think of the booklet? Like, oh, overall, I I don't the the booklets of There's that not much to uh, it of that caliber. I never enjoy. Of just like okay art. Here's the track listing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's kind of pointless. Slide Wait, show. didn't your bro- didn't like someone you're related to do some of the artwork for the the booklet, Frank? No, my brother did uh, one of the stickers for it. It's the oh. stick sticker with Mario holding Peach, and they're like in their polygon models, okay. but like re- redrawn. He did that one. Oh, okay. Oh, That's a sticker I like. Yeah. Uh, like he did the... not do the Mad Max uh, parody one. Oh, I forgot about the. Yeah, I do have that Mad Max sticker with mine. That's, a, that's weird. I like the stickers that come with the ray gun, t- that, that foil. Yeah. <laughs> <sticker>. that's great. <laughs> which which is based on the Instagram post uh, where he was like, "How do you guys feel about stickers?" <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that's um, good. I, don't, uh, I also enjoy the fact that the Super Mario is not on the front cover. Like, not on the outer bag, which I know happens a lot. Yeah. Oh, wait, oh you mean, like, the the title? Like, the yeah, logo? like it's not stuck on for us. Oh, yeah, yeah, them sending the sticker for us to put wherever we want, not them putting yeah. it on the actual um, over, outer sleeve. Yes, that. I would yeah. like to take the time in our discussion of this release to remind everyone that this is the number one video game podcast as opposed to That's right. any other <laughs> podcast <laughs> yeah if there is any other podcast that talk about video game vinyls ask them about Super Mario 64 and I'm sure they'll be <laughs> elated to talk about it I bet they have a lot to say about it sure they they're hoping to see it one day <laughs> still waiting <laughs> what else you heard about uh, that one guy who got canceled for it <laughs> maybe huh what else uh, do we I... got hmm? huh are you were you moving on to the next one because i did have one last thing to say yeah, so hit us. i like uh on the right one the inner sleeves uh that are just the the exclamation blocks in the, yeah. the four mm-hmm. different colors um i like that those have like little divots in the end of the the opening yeah, like, yeah i don't have so any the, other inner sleeves have that so the I, divots uh, are a little easier to take out yeah i do hate when my records are shipped in printed inner sleeves because they just end up splitting and i feel upset about yeah. it yeah yeah. I didn't know mm-hmm. that. A lot of IM8 bit ones were like that for me. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm also captivated by Act Razor. I've been watching like Pico play this game, and I'm. Uh, he was I'm, one I'm hit away from yeah. beating this boss, and he and fell in the fucking pit. It was <laughs> so brutal. God, to see. it was. I didn't realize. I was like so really irritated, and then I tried to rush the boss. I was like, I gotta beat this quick, and then I just <laughs> died and had to play the level over again. You were doing the the slow strat, and then you went for the speed strat, and just got <laughs> fucking dumpstered. Yeah. Act Razor is another one that's been done more than once. Yeah, that, that's that, that was, was our, the uh, first one we talked about. Oh, yeah. I was not here yeah. for that. I'm so sorry. You're late. Well, you're late. You're late. That gif. Mega Classic. Man X. Mega Man X. I guess we covered that one a little bit, didn't we? We did, but I just wanted to use the picture that I made. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I don't know if but we mentioned that, that um, the like a fan. what. A couple, of the songs, <laughs> Go ahead. a couple of the songs. A couple of the songs on the the box set version like bleed over into the second disc, right? Oh, I think so. Yeah, yeah, they do. Um, and the laced laced is redoing Mega Man X uh, as a single disc, so I don't think. So I think they're actually like cutting it from a new master. Yeah, I remember that being a little little bit annoying about the box set. I kind of just wish it was all on one, but that's yeah. okay. Uh, yeah, the um, Mad Villain cover is really cool, even though that it's not a, part of the... Right, that was a fan-done thing. There was no actual jacket with the, the release. The eyes, the eyes on the fan jacket. I do wish there was an upload of the Mega Man X boot because I would l very much like to listen to it. I'm working on that. I'll have that out soon. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm working on a on doing more and more rips. I'm plugging. You'll have you'll ha you'll have that out on what what channel? On Determination Jams on YouTube.com. Ooh! Wow! Nice plug. I will a take self -promo. it. A little self promo. But yeah, I guess there's not a lot more to say about Mega Man X. So. Yeah, well, we're getting another one soon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tune back in next time for. The... Jim Bo Bob yeah. asks, uh, yeah. "What other Mega Man X covers are there?" Oh. There's, uh, I have a couple of other jackets for That's it true. actually. I didn't um, realize that. There's one Reploids where it's against uh, Mavericks. What's up? Oh, right. Uh, the yeah. Reploids against Mavericks. Yeah. Yeah, and I've seen. What else have I seen? I've. I think I've seen a Daft Punk one. Um, yeah. Like random access memories. Um, Queen there's parody. All, Queen the Queen parody by Tony. I think that was just just a, just a print, insert. but yeah, still kind of um, works. But that one's really cool. Um, what else? I have one that's like a repainted uh, box art, which looks really good. Uh, it's not. It's actually redone. It's not um, just a photo of the box art. Uh, and then there's one um, like a Japanese style one, too, that I have. Ooh. Are these all included on your post of Mega Man X? They're on in my Instagram account somewhere. I, I didn't post them all at once, but they're they're there. <laughs> okay. Probably have to scroll a lot to find them, but but yeah, I, I like how people got creative with making their own yeah, jackets, make, making it work to, to have something as opposed to the nothing jacket. It literally didn't come with the jacket, right? Like, no, nope. yeah, I think it, I mean I think it came with a like a white, blank like a... blank blank jacket, like I think sure. it was white. Yeah, I think that's what I have with mine still. Interesting. A oh, very food like. Yeah. Um, the next one I had up was Super Mario Brothers three between the paper paper cut. What is paper street. Paper, paper street. street cuts. That's it. And I guess, like, the, the original Japanese pressing, too, if you want to count it. Right. I think it's worth counting, because, I mean, part of it's, like, 
you know, with that one, it's like an accessibility thing. Yeah. Where that, that release is more or less impossible. Or like a god tier sort of rarity nowadays, at least here. Mm. That's uh, another record I just love to hear from start to finish uh, that sure. I, I have not heard. I mean, there's the... Determination jams get on that. Oh, wh- are, wait, are you talking... You're talking about the Japanese Super oh. Mario 3? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I could send you a CD rip of it. It's the same thing. There you go. You do not need me. <laughs> <laughs> My life made easy. Uh, so, so, the the Paper Street Cut ones, I know one of them is the Overworld themes, and then what is the other one? Or are they both the same 7-inch? I uh, so yeah one is the eight overworld themes the other one is just a mix of different songs from the game i believe i could again i could be wrong about this but i believe if you put both of them together it's every track in the game except for the uh final fight with bowser music you'll have everything except that one song pretty good pretty cool and I another accessible yet. thing. Yeah. That's when Paper Street Cuts comes out with their three inch record of the Bowser scene. Kenny <laughs> <laughs> saying the end credits too. That, would, that, would, that wouldn't surprise me that much. Uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, the 2D one is terrific, of course. It, I, I yeah. love that. The first time I got that one in one. hand. Yeah. And saw the embossing in person because yeah. I didn't know it was when I first bought it. I was like, "Damn, that's fucking that's so cool! It's very, very cute." That that was one I re- remember seeing a lot of people posting all at once and just like, "Holy shit, that is, this is too cool. This hobby is ridiculous, and that's that, that's too cool for me to see." And and I was just blown away by that. That boot's gone too far. <laughs> I just don't remember anyone talk. So Link to the Past has that same sort of embossing, but I don't remember anyone talking about that. Um, and when I finally got that record, it took me by surprise. And it was amazing. I didn't know it did. <laughs> but I don't have that, so. Huh. Well, does anyone have anything else on Mario Bros. 3 of the whole cast and crew? <laughs> no, I don't have I still have, like, the, the J-Cart, or the J-Cart, excuse me, the, <laughs> the OB. Uh, <laughs> tape staff we gotta, over here. We, we, we need some J-Cards on my records. <laughs> Slide them in, it's fine. <laughs> um, no, I thought the, the strip was yeah. really well done. It, it really adds to it too. Yeah, like I, 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 I could go either way on like them in general, but like, mm-hmm. it, yeah, I thought it, it it really did add a little extra fun flair to it. But. I feel like of all the all the strips on on records, that one to me almost feels like one of my favorite ones. It's, it's like it's such an overload of uh, like it text and images mm-hmm. and all that uh, if you're getting so much out of it and um, it's just perfect and it's it's such a nice contrast with mm-hmm. the you know uh minimal like art for the rest of the jacket yeah there's a boot repress of the japanese seven inch right or am i thinking of a different mario uh there is not if there was i would totally get it but <laughs> You're you're talking about Mario One. They they did a boot repress of that on seven inch. That yeah. would be what I'm thinking the, of. Where they like the, recreated the stickers and stuff. Yeah, yeah. The original was uh, released by Funhouse from uh, 1985, I think. And then the Dojo Records did the a pressing of uh, like a bootleg label from Germany. I think it was in. 2015 or something they did yeah, it on or- orange and black well, that's all I got on this one. we got 
I think we're on our last one. Then I think Uh-oh. we can close up after that. So for now, part one. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> part two is next week. Yeah, uh, there's Metroid. probably oh, there's probably so many we missed. There, that... there probably is, but just to end our night on at least. Yeah, hey listeners, <laughs> comment right now. What what did we miss? We'll come back for a part. Exactly. Two. And remember to email us at hotjoey mm-hmm. at hotjoeyyahoo.com. Yeah, Part Hot Joey Yahoo. Immediately follow tonight's episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Stardew Valley, yeah. Oh, yeah. Another, oh, there, there's, there's another oh, Undertale. Too. What's that? Zelda. Hey, hey no. so the, ori- the original Stardew Valley was put out by, the, by Raygun Mr. himself. Raygun. Yeah. I didn't know that. I miss that guy. <laughs> I wonder where he is. We are the number. That's one why everybody video game thought it was going to finally come out. Everybody's <laughs> right. like, "Well, he did do Stardew Valley, so it'll definitely come out." <laughs> Sorry, Super uh, Metroid. Yeah, it's Super. No, Metroid. no, that's fine. <laughs> we did touch on Banjo earlier. Yeah. Um, yeah, Super Metroid. Very different oh. arts, art directions. Yeah, mm-hmm. I love. I have every piece of art in in both releases maybe like the the weakest part would be the gatefold in the left one but i love that that front that back the peel Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. these are i I think this is like one of the few that i'm like i I don't want to be like one is superior in in a sense but it's like there's an audience for both yeah yeah Mm -hmm. it feels like the the general tone is that the right the the mr violent red uh is everybody likes that a lot more but i still like i like the left one yeah exactly yeah edgy or something yeah dude that one on the right it's just so violent good god so the (laughs) the one on the right has the uh arrangement tracks from the metroid sound in action cd those tracks are awesome so it that one, I'm so, so good. glad they're included on that. Yeah. Uh, I do love, uh, I, I mean, Smashing Pumpkins was my favorite band for years and years and years. So I do love the Melancholy parody one. Mm-hmm. But but the other art is, you know, very, very classy and fitting. And also the uh, has like custom sleeves. Yeah, uh, really, ni- really nice gatefold. Um, sound quality is much better on the the red one. Uh, al- although, although moonshake, there is especially uh, because the moonshake one. Um, I think like the the stamper was getting pretty worn by the end, mm. so some of them some of them sound really bad. Okay. Uh, but as far as the other one, um, there is a reject disc for side A and B, mm-hmm. which sounds uh, sounds abysmal. <laughs> I never listened to mine. Um, so it was great that they went back and redid that disc uh, because now it sounds fantastic, you know, front to back. But um, but yeah. And isn't it a different variant too? Well, uh, uh, yeah, because uh, uh, the I think part of the reason why it sounds so bad is because of the way the splatter is. So the uh, splatter, okay. the splatter had to be redone. Yeah, but man, that the the fixed version AB. Oh my lord, that pink and pink and black on white looks so <laughs> great. Yeah, it probably looks better. Um. Yeah, if you if you ever listen to the the reject one, like it gets fantastically bad. <laughs> like as it gets more in the uh, the center of the record. Yeah, I gotta listen to it tomorrow. Give yourself is a it just like bad yeah, is, it, is it just noise or, or what is it about the reject? Uh, extreme noise. Yeah, uh, basically, oh, it sounds okay. like yeah. Worse than than Ozeki Wind Waker. No way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alex, were you fun. the one who messed with your reject disc, or was that someone else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just painted a, a Metroid on it and like soldered off <laughs> some of the 
the actual disc itself to make it look oh, like a metro. Yeah. That was yeah. really cool. That 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 uh, is an cool. inspiration for the uh for the my my uh my blows like boots. Yeah. <laughs> the literal boots. I saw boots. someone someone turn theirs into a clock. I saw. That's cool. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. I would love to see more Wind Waker bowls. <laughs> send me, send me your rejects. I'll pay you ten bucks. Oh, wow. I need, I need my, I need my full armor set. I'll say one, one interesting part about Super Metroid, as far as the music itself. Uh, there's a few tracks on the soundtrack that actually have crackling noises in the track, as like oh. a uh, sort of an ambient. You know extra layer yeah. um but i think a lot of people think it's the vinyl cracking yeah even though it's even though it's not it's kind of it's weird like i think a lot of the um the or not a lot of the songs in norfair because there's only two songs but i think the songs in norfair have that effect where it's like a very subtle kind of crackly sound in the background which is fully intended that's funny <laughs> interesting touch for a uh, vinyl record yeah all right well thank you all for listening tonight and going through all these doofs with us uh try to figure out which which one of the facts frank told us tonight was a lie and remember, oh. <laughs> remember to email us and joey email me. yeah Just, don't forget to email yes, me sorry, frank did you have something to add <laughs> I, oh no 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 Oh, I thought you had a, a, an extra fact. Maybe I was gonna say I was gonna say I, I was gonna say I forgot to say a fake one, but I'll let. <laughs> you have to figure that out. But I didn't want to <laughs> lie. Is what you said. <laughs> I mean, you could add like two extra. Yeah, just one, a little, two extra quick facts about. Uh, oh. I don't know. There's a lot. This is like a running theme where you put me on the spot every week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is. Dance. Dance for us. I tried to make you come up with a, a whole ass sponsor bit and that didn't work, so. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Figure out Frank's lies and his truths. Yeah, yeah, if you figure out the lie and email it in, uh, first person to get get it right gets uh, animated into the next episode of the podcast. Yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> You will be I think, on the podcast. Um, I think if you look uh, on the run out, actually, on Super Metroid, it says uh, Big Ass Haunted Mansion on it. <laughs> okay, oh, there. there it is. Yeah! <laughs> uh, go. Big Ass Haunted Splatter House. Big, go big ahead. Ass Haunted Splatter House. Go ahead and email us at vgmforallpodcasts at gmail.com and figure out big the Don't forget to eat a hot joey. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good night. Big ass automation. Good night.